Hello everyone, this is Gary from Fantastic Fundas and today in this lecture I will be teaching you about fundamental rights, FRs. Now, to understand F fundamental rights, you will have to understand few concepts, right? I will not be teaching you fundamental right like uh, you know most of the people do that you know they come and start talking about all the fundamental rights, right? Now, I'll talk to you about the few concepts of fundamental rights, right? So I will give you the structure of today's le lecture and that is that, um, in fact, this is the structure of the whole of the fundamental rights, right? And for today, it is like, you know this, that uh, we read about preamble, right? Which states the goals of our constitution. For example, uh, socio-economic political justice, right? Uh, and there was equality and fraternity and sovereignty and sovereign, socially secular, democratic republic, right? All those things in preamble are there, right? <coughs> those things uh, were made basically uh, for the uh, advancement of um, or the so uh, the advancement or or we can say uh, development right and su such thing right and then you know about uh, something like uh, you know fraternity right all those things they were mentioned the, 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 the basic goals right and this is what we humans we Indians also want to achieve for our citizens now to achieve these goals right all these goals we will uh, government will need to do something okay so government does something and what is government through you know we we have rights through constitution and there are certain duties on the constitution for fulfillment of those rights hamare paas constitution ne hame kuch rights diye aur har ek right ke opposite hame pata hai duties hoti hain rights absolute nahi hote hain whenever you have a right you have a corresponding duty to it okay so this duty over here of fulfillment of right is this duty is on the government right partially on us also but this is duty on the government that we get these fundamental rights right there are certain rights that we have okay and now uh, these rights but when you know government has, has certain duties government has to protect us and these rights and you know what government is doing so many times it so happens that government m might violate these uh, uh these duties of it or might not give us proper rights right not give us rights as it is supposed to give under the constitutions now when government is not able to do this uh so you know when they do this when they do the violation there is always judicial review of the whole thing okay now this word are not exactly mentioned in constitution but they are related to today's lecture so i will talk about them also right so we have the concept of judicial review over here now uh, for the uh, we have uh, uh, associated with the concept of judicial review as the uh, doctrine of limited government doctrine of limited government iske bare mein hum aaj baat karenge we'll talk about this and to understand doctrine of limited government you also will need to understand the uh, theory uh, there's a theory of separation of powers okay which was given by montesquieu we'll talk about this also today right now uh, but how how is it done this uh, uh, this doctrine of uh, uh, limited government over here right and this this doctrine of limited government uh, how you know th this is done and against whom all this is done you know this th this whole thing against whom it is done right so and how it is done the, for this is answered by article number 13 right and uh, you know how it is done to right and and second thing is against whom it is done kiski against as a kia jata hai and that is done against the state but what is a state and who is a state state government is it is it the state government is is your municipality can you file a pl against it or some uh, writ against it uske bare mein yahan par hum baat karenge okay and then you know uh, uh, there is a different provision for uh, just like citizenship there were different provisions for pre-constitution and post-constitutional same way this thing uh, we have in this uh, article 13 uh, also you know uh, talks about the pre the differentiates between pre-constitutional and post-constitutional things okay and then uh, against whom it is against the state right and this article 13 over here uh, 
it 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 is dependent on certain rules actually and what are those rules the rules are like uh, you know there is no retrospective application no retrospective application okay number 2 is the rule of severability rule of severability ठीक है इसके बारे में बिकॉज दिस आर्टिकल थर्टीन विच टॉक्स अबाउट विच लिमिट्स द गवर्नमेंट अगेंस्ट यू नो ब्रीचिंग अगेंस्ट आर राइट्स तो वो कैसे कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं वो वो कुछ चीज़ों पर डिपेंडेंट इट इज दिस आर्टिकल दैट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन नो रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव इफेक्ट रूल ऑफ सेवरेबिलिटी एंड नंबर थ्री एज द डॉक्ट्रीन ऑफ एक्लिप्स एंड दिस डॉक्ट्रीन ऑफ एक्लिप्स ना ऑल्सो गॉट मैंशन थ्रू सर्टन केस सो देर विल बी मैंशन ऑफ यू केस इज ऑल्सो टूडे Uh, right so this is the structure of the today's lecture i will keep on re referring to this again and again um, okay now uh, one more thing before i proceed ahead see please try to understand that not all cases are important not all but there are few cases which you have to remember right for example keshwananda bharti case you cannot omit this case or let's say case of ambika mills um shri ambika mills this case is related to doctrine of eclipse this doctrine originated in this so these are a few landmark cases which you cannot omit though you can omit almost all other cases which i will be giving you you know some reference but i'll keep on mentioning these landmark important cases which you have to write in your paper you cannot miss second question whenever we study about polity is about the in article numbers see it is always easier to remember if you know the article number it is much easier to talk you know if i talk to you in terms of article i just have to say oh article my 21 has been violated my 20 is breach i have right under 25 to talk with this way you cannot stop me from preaching my religion you know and now i don't have to go in detail see whenever you are studying in academics always one thing is appreciated uh, you know uh, that that is the brevity that is the conciseness uh, of the whole thing okay so the uh, कम शब्दों में ज़्यादा बात कहने का जो टैलेंट है वो आप आर्टिकल नंबर से सीख सकते हैं लेकिन इसका मतलब दिस डजेंट मीन दैट यू डोंट हैव टू एक्सप्लेन इट वेन यू राइटिंग इन पेपर यू हैव टू से प्रॉपर वर्ड्स इंक्लूडिंग आर्टिकल नंबर इफ पॉसिबल इट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर राइटिंग आंसर नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर राइटिंग आंसर द आर्टिकल नंबर जो होते हैं राइट नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट बट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रिमेंबरिंग राइट इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर अदरवाइज देन इट इज फाइन बट इट इट विल बी गुड फॉर यू इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर राइट नाउ विल प्रोसीड विद द lecture okay so we talk about the uh, now okay let me not clean the screen i'll keep it for you uh, right now uh, we we know that uh, uh, part 3 of our constitution basically deals with all the fundamental rights right okay so uh, we know this that a uh, part 3 okay uh, so we have part 3 of the constitution now or you always write parts in roman so let it be this way right so part 3 of constitution uh, jo hai it deals with the fundamental rights now first of all uh, uh, it talks about various rights right now for first of all there are some general provisions given right these are under article number 12 and 13 so we will be will try to reach these articles as i explained you in the structural uh, format just few moments back okay now the this part 3 of the constitution this is modeled on uh, us uh, united states of constitution ke andar ek cheez hai usa constitution mein which, which is called as bill of rights जब यू एस ए का कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बना था ओरिजिनली उसके अंदर ये वाले राइट्स नहीं थे देन देर हैड टू बी ब्रॉट अ बिल ऑफ राइट्स ऑफ यू एस ए जिसके थ्रू हमने वहाँ पर उसके अंदर आर्टिकल्स डाले राइट वैन दी थ्रू दीज बिल ऑफ राइट्स इन अमेरिकन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी पुट इन सर्टन राइट एंड ऑन दोज राइट्स मेड द मॉडल एंड ऑन द ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दोज राइट्स वी स्टार्टेड विद दिस फंडामेंटल राइट्स ओके सो वी हैड दिस फंडामेंटल राइट्स विद अस ओके सो ना Uh, the, these rights are basically they considered they uh, what are fundamental rights first of all um, before i proceed ahead now fundamental right they are those rights which are essential to human living okay now because without them we will have merely vegetative existence vegetative existence without fundamental right they are so important especially uh, the right to life right which is mentioned under article 21 right and then you know for these rights are uh, they are essential uh, for uh, for democracy 
okay and then they are essential for the society being free so for free society uh, right society agar ye rights nahi honge then you know we will have dictatorship government will move according to its whims and fancies government apni marzi se chalegi right ek uh, there is a very famous author his name is i have read his books they are brilliant books his name is granville austin actually if i go on to explain you fundamental rights i can uh, give you like maybe 100 hour lecture on fundamental rights alone but that is not the point right we are doing it just for the purpose of our journal studies and not specialization in law so there was a person called granville austin whenever you get time please go through this book this is not required for upsc or any other exam this is just for general reading general awareness being a good citizen right now in this book uh, you know he talks about uh, he describes you know he says that the part 3 of indian constitution is written a great commentary on indian constitution this person died recently probably in 2014 or 15 somewhere 14 i guess and then you know, um, he said that part 3 this is the cornerstone of indian democracy cornerstone of indian democracy this is what he said okay now please understand one thing that uh, it, and you know this part and if you add part 4 to it so part 3 of the constitution plus part 4 which is about the for uh, directive principles of state policy actually what happened initially um, it's okay th these are directive principles of state policy dpsps i'll talk about them there what is the difference between part 3 and part 4 later on this is not the right time to talk about it okay so these together the directive principles are the guidelines actually under which the state has to work okay with the ultimate aim of to converting directive principles into a fundamental right samajh aayi baat ki डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल वो कुछ आधारभूत प्रिंसिपल हैं असूल हैं नियम हैं गाइडलाइन हैं जिनके ऊपर ही आ, किसी भी गवर्नमेंट को सरकार को काम करना है ताकि और उसका उद्देश्य केवल ये है कि वह जो वो नियम बने हैं उनको लोगों का हक बना दे जो गाइडलाइन है वो लोगों का राइट right बन जाए ठीक है एट प्रेजेंट आप अगर आप गवर्नमेंट ये ब्रीच करती है डीपीएसपी तो आप इसके अगेंस्ट कोर्ट में नहीं जा सकते लेकिन पार्ट थ्री में कुछ ब्रीच होता है तो आप कोर्ट में जा सकते हैं ओके सो इफ एनी इज ब्रीच अंडर पार्ट थ्री कैन गो टू कोर्ट बट नॉट अंडर पार्ट फोर राइट नाउ आई विल टॉक अबाउट मोर अबाउट दिस इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू लेक्चर ओके अबाउट पार्ट थ्री एंड पार्ट फोर especially when i talk to you about part 4 dpsps okay now they together these two if, if you talk about them together they form what is called as the conscience of the constitution okay conscience of constitution atma hai man hai hamare samvidhan ka hamare ayin ka theek hai to they you know they together give what is called as the intellectual uh, content of constitution baki rest of the constitution is just a procedural thing right how is president elected what is his salary you know what to do what to me he is enjoying in his presidential home pranam mukherjee is having fun but please you know understand that um idea here is this is the in real intellectual part if you read any book of law on constitution you will find that if it is a let's say 2000 page book a thousand pages will be on this part 3 and just the part 3 only actually okay so um so these are fundamental rights okay now uh, there's one more uh, conceptual thing that you have to understand over here and that is uh, what is the difference uh, between uh, this uh, fundamental rights is one thing now there there are two words one is fundamental i have explained you why they are called fundamental but right so uh, so when uh, you must have heard of the term legal right and then you must have heard of the term statutory right okay uh, statutory right and then you must uh, you, you know the word fundamental right now if the, remember in english whenever there are different words used especially in law in polity th that means there is a different meaning to it i you know after listening to these lectures you will write as a uh, person with uh, law optional you know your answers would be really good now i'll tell you the difference you will be very careful with usage of words and that is what upsc wants you should be very careful with usage of words now whenever the fundamental rights are violated under article 32 right uh, they, they, you know under article 32 this article is about the constitutional remedies 
आर्टिकल 32 में आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जा सकते हैं केस फाइल कर सकते हैं ओके आर्टिकल 32 टू इज अ राइट ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रेमेडीज वेयर यू कैन गो एंड फाइल अ केस अ रिट पटिशन रिट के बारे में विल टॉक लेटर तो रिट पटिशन सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जब बारे में देखिए बहुत सारे कंसेप्ट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू डिटेल ऑफ एवरी कंसेप्ट नाउ जहां जब जिसकी जगह होगी वहां पर आई गो इन टू डिटेल ठीक है कुछ नई वर्ड समझ आ रहा है घबराइए मत आने वाले लेक्चर्स में समझ आ जाएगा इफ यू नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड अ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड और टर्म डोंट वरी आई विल टॉक टू अबाउट दैट लेटर ऑन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डिस्टर्ब द फ्लो ऑफ द लेक्चर एट दिस मोमेंट ओके now when the fundamental rights are violated under article 32 jo you know you can go to supreme court right for the enforcement so if you can go to that is only for fundamental rights but if you are any other legal right or your statutory right are violated you cannot go to supreme court directly right uh, you have to go to subordinate court so there is a highest court supreme court and below high court and then there are subordinate courts or you can go to subordinate court for violation of your right okay now uh, or you can use also article 226 for going to high court for violation of your right okay but then you know what is the difference uh, between this and other see uh, there are certain rights which are mentioned in the part 3 of the constitution all these rights are your fundamental rights राइट दे आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ एनी स्टेच्यूट स्टेच्यूट क्या होता है एक्ट किसी ने बच्चे ने मेरे से पूछा है एक्ट में लॉ में बिल में स्टेच्यूट में इनमें क्या फर्क होता है ओके लेट मी टेल यू जब वेन एवर द लॉ यू नो पार्लियामेंट वॉन्ट टू पास अ लॉ इट इंट्रोड्यूस द लॉ इन पार्लियामेंट इट इज कॉल्ड बिल राइट वेन द बिल इज पास इज कॉल्ड एक्ट Any act, every act is called law. सारे एक्ट को आप लॉ कहते हो कानून इज अ जेनरिक टर्म एक जनरल टर्म है एंड जो एक्ट बना होता है उसको आप स्टेच्यूट भी कहते हो उसको स्टेच्यूटरी प्रोविजन भी कह देते हैं ठीक है इससे ज्यादा डिटेल आई कैन टॉक अबाउट इट दिस नो पॉइंट टॉकिंग अबाउट इट ओके सो राइट सो सो देर आर द लॉ द राइट विच आर मैंशनड अंडर सम लॉ विच हैज बिन पास बाय पार्लियामेंट सम बिल और लेट से सम एक्ट राइट आई एम आई एम यूजिंग दिस टर्म्स ऑल्टरनेटिवली सो यू कैन यूज वेन एवर अ बिल इज पास बाय द गवर्नमेंट थ्रू एंड यू नो दैट बिकम्स एन एक्ट जब पास हो जाता है वो तो जो एक्ट होता है दैट इज स्टेचुटरी उसके अंदर कोई राइट मिला दैट इज योर स्टेचुटरी राइट एंड दैट राइट यू नो इज यू कैन नॉट गो टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट डायरेक्टली फॉर फाइलिंग अ राइट सो इट्स अ सिंपलर राइट जो फंडामेंटल राइट है इट इज सो बेसिक इट इज ऑन द हाइएस्ट पेडेस्टल जो पॉसिबल हो सकता है ठीक है एंड यू नो जो फंडामेंटल राइट होते हैं दे दे आर ऑलमोस्ट यू नो जो एफ आर होते हैं दे आर अगेंस्ट स्टेट जनरली अगेंस्ट स्टेट एंड दे आर ऑल्सो अगेंस्ट प्राइवेट सिटीजन अभी मैं इसके बस अभी थोड़ी दो पांच दस मिनट में इसकी डिटेल के बारे में भी बात करूंगा ओके आई टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट दिस कंसेप्ट दैट हाउ फंडामेंटल राइट आर अगेंस्ट द स्टेट एंड ऑल्सो द प्राइवेट सिटीजन जो सो दे आर द फंडामेंटल राइट आर काइंड ऑफ नेगेटिव ऑब्लीगेशन ऑन द स्टेट दैट द स्टेट शेल नॉट डू दिस स्टेट शेल नॉट डू दैट सो दे आर द नेगेटिव ऑब्लीगेशन ऑन द state basically in generally they are against the state okay and they are against uh, you know private individuals also for example a right against untouchability or right against exploitation or you know right in favor of more freedom of movement all these are against individuals and states also okay so the basic difference between statutory right and fundamental right is that the fundamental right are given to us by constitution this are given to us by the act right in this case uh, in the case of uh, uh, statutory right you cannot go to a uh, supreme court high court here you can go to supreme court high court for filing of the right okay these are rights are more serious and more basic rights and these are uh, less serious than fundamental right nevertheless they remain equally serious important rights to us for us okay now the fundamental rights they are individual rights right they are enforceable against the state and uh, now these fundamental rights right uh, they are but they are not absolute even fundamental rights have some limitations on them okay and in fact as i said they are the negative obligations and you know these majority of the fundamental right they are the nature of preventing the state from performing certain actions they you know the fundamental rights they prevent state From doing particular thing कि आप ये particular चीज नहीं कर सकते state को चीजों को रोकने रोकने के लिए ये बना है okay तो fundamental rights they prevent state from doing particular thing कुछ करने से उन्हें रोकते हैं okay and there are various restrictions uh, on the basis of which fundamental rights can be restricted so what are those uh, restrictions of fundamental rights I'll talk about them the restrictions there lot of restrictions they vary from article to article right uh, okay so there is a article is different from section i have talked about it already right in supreme law we write article for example universal declaration of human right wahan par article aap wahan section number nahi kehte hain to parliament jo law bana rahi hai wahan par ab section aam taur pe use kar rahe hain okay now 
प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज मेड बाई कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली नॉट बाय द पार्लियामेंट ओके देर वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली एनी वे सो देर आर फ्यू रिस्ट्रिक्शन राइट इन जनरल ओवरऑल रिस्ट्रिक्शन आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ एनी थिंग वायलेट्स द सोवरेनिटी और इफ एनी थिंग यू नो फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ पब्लिक ऑर्डर एंड और पब्लिक ऑर्डर एंड यू नो देन देर इज मेंटेनेंस ऑफ मोरलिटी ओके and you know what is morality we'll talk about it or let's say friendly relation with the state in that case we can stop you from doing something friendly relation with state with the neighbor friendly relation with a neighbor okay right so there are so many other condition right in the interest of the scheduled tribes in the interest of women are aapne dekha hai kabhi have you ever noticed uh, if you are in delhi or if you uh, wherever right if you there are seats reserved for women there are seats reserved for old people children handicapped you know where are all these things coming from these are you know coming from fundamental rights only this partiality has been created in fundamental right itself let's not cut call it partiality i will use a word called positive discrimination for them okay so what is uh, positive discrimination discrimination ka matlab hota hai ki main aapke against kuch kar raha hu favor kar raha hu kisi aur ki but how can it be positive jab aapka nuksan ho raha hai it is positive in the sense that everyone is created equal we'll talk about in detail if you know understood this is not the topic to be discussed now now right and so so same way right sc st obc jitne ye backward categories hain ya fir you know women and you know children and old citizen for all of them in their interest certain fundamental rights can be restricted which fundamental not all which fundamental right can be restricted we'll talk about those fundamental rights over here okay now so whenever whenever there is a fundamental right okay uh, it 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 just so happens that uh, it is uh, it is breached okay and whenever it is breached uh, by anyone let's say that um, you know the, the the fundamental right this thing is breached okay in the government I, okay i'll just show you that uh, chart that I, okay this we drew, you know drew at the beginning now if you see this as i said the government has certain obligations on it i explained you just this thing now whenever this obligation over here this part over here i'll just highlight it for you whenever this obligation over here this thing is breached then then there can be judicial review of the fundamental rights right what do you mean by a judicial review are aapka right breach hua what happens you go to court okay so when, whenever you go to court uh, the, the court reviews it court check karti hai ki aap kya breach hua hai aapka theek hai to to that is uh, what we are talking about so here we are going to talk about the term judicial review okay judicial review what is this judicial review about see uh, you know there are various provisions actually right which are related to judicial review and they are not mentioned in constitution exactly right for example supreme uh, the article 32 and article 226 they are related to the uh, also 227 actually they are related to the writ jurisdictions okay writ jurisdiction of high court and uh, sorry let's no let's say it uh, in proper order only of uh supreme court and high court respectively okay now this is 32 and this is 226 and 227 uh, now uh, see but it's not mentioned exactly over there but then article 13 of our constitution uh in you know it, not in the exact words but it also talks about uh, um, art, you know judicial review judicial review ka matlab kya hai jab bhi aapka koi right breach hua as i was talking earlier so you know whenever your right is breached you can go to court for for the solution okay that judiciary reviews it judge uska review karega ki government ne jo kiya wo theek kiya ke galat kiya okay so that that is what it is and you know the concept of this judicial review this originated uh, in United States. How it is an Article 13? उसके बारे में अभी बात करेंगे बट अभी इस पर फोकस कीजिए ना हाउ यू नो दिस जुडिशियल रिव्यू हाउ दिस ओरिजिनेटेड इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ओके इट ओरिजिनेटेड देर राइट एंड देन यू नो इट हैज बीन इनकॉर्पोरेटेड अंडर इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ना जुडिशियल रिव्यू इज बेसिकली द पार ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट राइट एंड हाई कोर्ट टू डिक्लेयर अ लॉ एज अल्ट्रा वायरस और इंट्रा वायरस अल्ट्रा वायरस ये आपने वर्ड पढ़ा होगा कहीं ना कहीं और इंट्रा वायरस what do you mean by these two words ultra virus and intra virus see uh, ultra virus means uh, virus first of all understand that uh, it is right or wrong okay now when i say that intra virus that means it is uh, it is correct it is not wrong 
एंड वेन आई से अल्ट्रा वायरस इट मीन्स येस इट इज रॉन्ग ओके एंड रॉन्ग अगेंस्ट वॉट इट इज ब्रीचिंग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वेन आई से इट इज अल्ट्रा वायरस द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट वेन आई वेट इज ब्रीच ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देन देन वीट वी से दैट अ लॉ इज अल्ट्रा वायरस इफ एनी थिंग इज अगेंस्ट राइट नाउ इफ इट इज इन एनी लॉ इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट वेन डू वी से दिस इज नॉट हैपनिंग अंडर जुडिशियल रिव्यू राइट वी गो टू कोर्ट अंडर जुडिशियल रिव्यू एंड द कोर्ट डिक्लेयर इट टू बी अल्ट्रा वायरस और इंट्रा वायरस राइट ना दिस अल्ट्रा वायरस और इंट्रा वायरस विल बी डिक्लेयर ऑन सर्टन बेसिस right and it will be declared on some few basis like first of first of all that particular law is in violation of the constitution or not whether constitution is violated or not so th th this becomes the thing over here okay number 2 uh, right now the court uh, you know while deciding this ultra thing is ultra virus and it doesn't say that you should be doing this it just declares this is good and this is bad it does not give you suggestion is salah nahi dete hain aapko ki ye acha hai ya bura hai it just says it is wrong it is right it's zyada kuch nahi hai okay so you know there are few more principles on which court does the judicial review and jo ki ultra virus and intra virus declare karna hai aur judicial review article 3026 ke niche ho raha hai और जो जुडिशियल रिव्यू हो रहा है वो क्यों हो रहा है क्योंकि आपके कुछ पास राइट्स और ड्यूटीज थी आपका राइट right था फंडामेंटल राइट right, जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देता है और गवर्नमेंट के ऊपर उस फंडामेंटल राइट right के कारण एक ड्यूटी थी उसको पूरी करने की जो गवर्नमेंट ने नहीं की है और ये गवर्नमेंट ने ड्यूटी कैसे नहीं पूरी की है आइदर बाय प्रोटेक्टिंग योर राइट और यू नो देर यू हैड सर्टन राइट एंड गवर्नमेंट हैड ड्यूटीज एंड गवर्नमेंट डिड नॉट फुलफिल ड्यूटीज बाय क्रिएटिंग अ लॉ विच वॉज रॉन्ग और बाय फॉलोइंग वेरी बैड एग्जेक्टिव एक्शन कुछ गलत काम किया पुलिस से डंडे बढ़वा दिए जी अब किसी को यू नो फंडामेंटल राइट ब्रीच हो गया राइट टू लाइफ ब्रीच हो गया वहां पे आए और खतखड़ी लगवा दी जी ओके आई सी आई एम ओवर हेयर ओके लेट मी जस्ट चेंज द कलर यू नो आई एम दिस इज मिस्टर एक्स ओके न पुलिस आई पुलिस ने क्या किया इसको आके डंडे मारे यू नो पुलिस हिट हेम now this is uh, wrong because his right to life has been breached and in fact he is injured badly and all his life his eyes are taken out, uh, out by the police and you know he is made deaf iske kaan bhi uh, kaanon ke parde phad diye jate hain his, his ear drums are torn away and then his right to life has been taken by the police and then you know police what police does police goes and arrest you you right ab aap ye to main tha yahan pe pul aapke sath kya karti police you know police arrest you and police puts the handcuff hathkadi dal deti hai that is so inhumane how can police do that because hathkadi ke sath we have such a negative connotation associated with the uh, you know uh, this the, the, those cuffs uh, which hold your wrist okay so so the point is that the, uh, these are excesses by the administration how are these excesses controlled these excesses are controlled by the government in the following manner how uh, by judicial review by the people right you can go to court by the, it is controlled by judiciary and how judiciary controls it through by uh, uh, you know through first of all uh, it sees whether the particular act or the law it violates the constitution or not number 2 it will you know see, it see uh if there is a law okay it will look into it what kind of interpretation of law is possible right we you have heard this thing ki law ko kai tarike se interpret kiya ja sakta you know this that law can be interpreted in many ways so so there are two interpretation one says it is valid and other says it is invalid you know then the court will prefer the uh, you know interpretation and the, they would try to uphold the law as far as possible first of all okay that that is the rule uh, you know and then the court must prefer the interpretation which validates it okay there are two interpretations fir to usko valid hi mana jayega third is uh, you know court should not pronounce on validification of law uh, you know which has been which has not been brought into legal enforceability abhi for example njec let's take the issue of njec national judicial appointment commission bill which is pending in the court right no, normally you know court will not look into its validity uh, before it was enforced and court did not now after the government passed you know the law passed the bill in lok sabha rajya sabha and you know then you know the, meanwhile the co, you know this co, case is pending in the supreme court njec bill so you know co, court will not decide until it's enforced but here it is a different matter right it has not been enforced yet but the court is going to review it that is an exception but i was wanted to explain you that it is not generally done so now the court shall not pronounce on the constitutional validity of the law suo moto right or in other words i'll simplify it for you that uh, whether the law is valid if this question is not not asked in the case the court will not say that right court will not decide valid or not if right uh, you know court will not decide the validity of the law suo moto suo moto is a latin word which means on its own okay on its own अपनी मर्जी से ही कोर्ट इसको कोर्ट विल नॉट रिव्यू इट ओके ना कोर्ट कैन 
exercise judicial review the point with judicial review is that you can go to court this is very important thing is that you can go to court only if you know you, you uh, court decides the matter uh, court decides only if you go to court court cannot take a suo moto action right though th there have been few exceptions for example there was a coca cola case what happened that uh, coke company went and uh, on all the hills of himachal pradesh they painted coke or pepsi some some company right probably it was coke only um, you can check that check that right now it went over there some let's say some beverage company let's not name coke or pepsi at some beverage company went to the uh, himalayas and their judge saw a supreme court judge that all the himalayas have been painted with advertisements he took an action against this on his suo motive right and then you know it was treated the concept of pil that is a different concept you know uh, the concept of public interest litigation in which uh, and then you know uh, there are various jurisdictions of supreme court under which it can do some judicial review without some anybody asking it but then that is an exception generally court cannot right now ju this judicial review has some prime functions right for example uh, government's action was right or wrong so so we look into it uh, okay what are its function whether this government action whether it was right or wrong it, it is decided that is number one okay as you can look here in the in this corner over here top left corner uh, so government ka action thik tha ki nahi you know this is looked into then you know it's, it's it protects fr judicial review se kya ho raha hai Aap, you are protecting the fundamental rights okay and then you know uh, because of this uh, the, you, you maintain the supremacy of the constitution supremacy of constitution okay and then you know uh, there is a uh, federalism also maintained federalism okay this is all happening through judicial review right and you know it's it's basically uh, the, the all the all the power of the government you know th that is uh, if it does not exceed its given mandate jo government hai usme apni power ko exceed na kare wahan par judicial review hamare kaam aata hai so okay so that was about judicial review right now uh, basically what is judicial review doing it is uh, judicial review means uh, it is uh, restraining okay it restrains government from crossing its constitutional limits okay ye judicial review se ho raha hai right that means this this means this means that the government in india is a limited government it is not in, in it cannot move in absolute sense right there is a doctrine of limited government doctrine of limited government about this okay so uh, that means uh, we have to understand now this doctrine of limited government to better understand uh, the, the the concept now it is inherent in now whenever there is a democracy that means the will of the people is supreme right now if the will of the people is that that some section should not exist for example 377 and uh, this is about lgbt community right uh, the, uh, the lesbian gays and etc right right uh, bias and transgenders okay now uh, the the idea is that people of the country want that this should be repealed so people of will of the people should uh, should exist right now uh, this is section 377 of ipc under which the gays and all these people lgbt community every all the, these are punished okay for uh, for the act of sodomy or that which is called unnatural sex by the ipc indian penal code now in this doctrine of limited government it uh, it aims to control the unregulated assumption of power okay now government say that government might say that we have unregulated power or government might assume to itself certain powers which have not been given to it so they cannot have it right when i say government i mean two things executive and legislature for uh, okay and legislature uh, this, all this exam that you give you are giving for executive uh, legislature ka ek hi paper hota hai you that paper is called elections you have to fight the elections to go there and th third wing is judiciary which decides on, on this matter okay now the constitution gives specific function to them and whenever this cross this limit right this is the constitution okay let's say this is the constitution now government has got certain limits and it has to work according to this constitution but it you know what it does it adds an extra book it opens its new book and it works according to that now go, it cannot do so it is limited by the judicial review okay whenever their limit limit is crossed they, uh, they, then there is you know a check on it okay through judiciary through judicial review 
okay so we're talking about the concept of uh, limited government actually over here this concept over here limited government right now this, this doctrine is not explicitly mentioned in our constitution that we have a limited government as again likha nahi hua hai but you know it's it's obvious right government there are some certain rights for example uh, government cannot violate the right of life of people government you government must protect your right to speech freedom of speech and expression so that means government cannot uh, mute you forcefully when it does it is crossing its limit and when it does so you can go to supreme court and then ask the supreme court that, that you know this is happening then the supreme court will ask the government to stop there okay the judiciary um, uh, keeps the this legislature and executive under check right they emphasize on the fact that the constitution is supreme the premise the base of this concept of limited government is that the constitution is supreme and not the पार्लियामेंट इन इंडिया इज सुप्रीम ओके अब प्रधानमंत्री जो हमारे हैं मोदी मोदी कीप्स ऑन सेइंग दैट आई एम प्रधान आई एम नॉट प्रधानमंत्री आई एम द प्रधान सेवक यू नो ही हैज टू बी अ सेवक इट इज नॉट समथिंग टू बोस्ट ऑफ टू बी ऑनेस्ट ओके इट इट इज डिफैक्टो इट इज देयर बिकॉज़ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज सुप्रीम यू आर अ सर्वेंट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यू आर द prime servant of the constitution though you have been called a minister he's right when he says that is technically right legally right when he says that okay right in any way so so go, you know go, they, they, that there is rule of law that is the aim of this uh, concept of limited government okay now the the principle of limited government and this judicial review right they they found uh, now all this thing the okay let me just write on the new page all this thing the con the, the concept of a uh, judicial review plus concept of limited government these two things together they culminated khatam hua ek naye concept mein it led to emergence of new concept okay this concept i will refer to again and again is called the basic structure of the constitution and this was enshrined in the keshwananda bharti case right ओके दिस वाज द नेम ऑफ द केस के श्रीपद गलवारू केशवानंद भारती यू नो ये केस था जो दिस वाज इन 1973 वी विल टॉक अबाउट दिस केस इन डिटेल व्हाट इज यू मीन बाय बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट इट राइट एंड दिस डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ लिमिटेड गवर्नमेंट ओवर हियर इट फाइंड यू नो एक्सप्रेशन आल्सो अंडर द कांसेप्ट ऑफ सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एक्ट ओके this the limited government ka jo ye concept hai this this the, you know this is explained through the fundamental rights that we have it is this concept of limited government is there in the concept of secularism you cannot government cannot enforce religion on people few days back you know in 2015 this month just just a couple of days back what happened that some bjp councilor what he did he he uh, locked some muslim person in his home right at the beginning of the ramazan uh, ramadan or ramazan uh, aaj jo bhi se kehna chahe theek hai in the, the holy festivity of muslims it is such a wrong thing we are we are a secular country you cannot stop that we uh, right they if they person if they, that person goes to court this person might lose his seat that he was just a counselor over there okay this news was there in newspaper from there i am saying it it is just a developing news mind you care in any way right now uh, see this doctrine uh, is further reflected in our constitution through the uh, you know this separation of power okay separation of power also on government there is a separation of power that you know executive has to legislature executive judiciary three wing they all have certain powers with them what are these powers um, they have this also shows the concept of limited government and this topic so 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 what do you understand by separation of power is i'll talk in the, on this topic in detail now right now what is this topic separation of powers powers ka batwara separation of power you know this uh, this concept of separation of power this is very important for your paper in 2015 and this will remain up to in 16 and 17 because th for these year this topic is very important because see uh separation of power concept has this concept has been discussed at great length at the present in supreme court in discussing the case on national judicial accountability and uh, you know uh, and all that njac and that uh, appoint judges appointment commission jo tha uske upar jo hai wahan par iski kafi detail mein discussion it has been discussed in great detail over there so we will talk about this now okay separation of power now the concept of separation of power first of all it is not indian concept right this concept was by a french philosopher whose name was montesquieu oh, uh, i'll just correct the spelling montesquieu okay montesquieu q 
okay montesquieu now now he says that right there are three wings of the government he this is montesquieu saying one is rule making okay one makes the rule second person you know uh, he imp second person who is the implements the rule and then there is third person who is who adjudicates upon the rule okay whether it is good rule or a bad rule so there are three kinds of rules right three kind of people and in india these are called legislature executive and judiciary right now he says that this uh, this power is watertight okay ekdam kaise hai ek ek you know there is a big box okay and then there are the three three chambers in it Th this line is strict this line cannot be crossed by anyone right and here is the legislature here is the executive and judiciary right they have very extreme independent function this is what montesquieu is saying this is not what is happening in india mind it right this is what montesquieu is saying now these these people cannot interact with each other this cannot take power of this or this of this they are working absolutely independently of each other this is watertight right iske andar pani ghus nahi sakta it is watertight okay it is airtight also iske andar hawa bhi nahi ja sakti right there is no link between them right now his object of this theory is to prevent the state right from becoming a, a totalitarian state okay वट यू मीन क्या होता है कि स्टेट अपनी मर्जी से जो मर्जी करने लग जाएगी सी इफ 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 आई एम द इफ मोदी और ले से एनी गवर्नमेंट बाय मोदी राइट इफ एनी गवर्नमेंट इफ दे आर द लेजिस्लेचर इन दैन सेल्फ वही लेजिस्लेचर बन जाए वही एग्जेक्टिव बन जाए वही जज बन जाए there will be a problem i will make a law as a legislature i will implement it according to my whims and fancies law will say that you know you can use a danda you can use a stick against the people law empowers the police police uses the gun and you know judiciary which is the legislature only uh, then there will be a problem for, and for in other words uh, agar modi hi prime minister modi chief justice of india and modi ko hi hum uh, pure india ka ek special inspector general ya special director general of police bana de how it will be it won't it be wrong yes it will be wrong and that is why uh, there, uh, you know that that a little totalitarian regime to sab mushkil ho jayegi na to you know it was in the united states constitution first of all that we heard of this concept of the separation of power right and this uh, this uh, this uh, separation of power in usa is full and complete okay full and complete and then you know in in united states they provide president uh, you know you know since us constitution they provide president uh, form of government wahan pe their executive and legislature are completely separated okay and us constitution provide for separation of all three wings of the wings of the government right but you know we live in a ऑर्गेनिक uh, सोसाइटी एक डायनामिक सोसाइटी में रहते हैं जहां सारे आपस में मिलजुल कर रहते हैं समाज में जो व्यवस्था होती है उसके अंदर हम एक साथ आगे बढ़ते हैं कभी ऐसा तो हो नहीं सकता कि अकेला ही कोई सेक्लूजन में आइसोलेशन में काम करे ये कौन सा हमारे जो चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया है ये हिमालय पर्वत पर जाके थोड़ी ना बैठे हैं और मोदी डजन लिव ऑन हिमालय पर्वत दे ऑल लिव इन डेली राइट दे ऑल इंट्रैक्ट and there has to be interaction so that interaction we cannot have strict separation of power like this in usa or this suggested by the montesquieu okay so this has been modified to certain extent to and this is not so watertight right and you know and but to make sure uh, that this um, and uh, the separation uh, the, this overlapping that we have created right we certain cre we have created some kind of uh, uh, you know uh, common thing right you can enter here some some commonalities between legislature executive and judiciary some overlapping of function is there okay now what 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 i'm saying is that see what happens that uh, you can actually uh, uh, this there is some overlapping now okay this this and this and you know this and this also right so all of them but to make sure now now we did this to facilitate okay we uh, this full and complete is there but what happens india facilitated what overlapping some overlapping some right not absolute overlapping right and to over to make sure that this overlapping is mi not misused we have theory of checks and balances okay now what is this theory of checks and balances i will talk about it now right now checks and balances i won't go into much detail of it just a superficial explanation of it okay checks and balances is that legislature executive and judiciary keep a check on each other okay how do they do that 
any other quite judge if any judge commits a wrong he can be third removed from his court uh, by legislature recently there was uh, some case of uh, some judge of Bengal was there okay there was a few you might have seen that if you have not seen that please go to your Rajesh Sabha TV channel this uh, YouTube channel and look for his without videos that removal of the judge and this is a brilliant speech by Arun Jaitley and all those uh, Dhurandars all those stalwarts of uh, Rajesh Sabha and Lok Sabha okay now if executive does anything wrong judiciary can control it and legislature can also control it because and then if if you know legislature does anything wrong then judiciary you know declares that law wrong so everyone is controlling each other this is the theory of checks and balances okay so the indian constitution overall you know we also adapted this theory of uh, uh, separation of power in a modified form using the theory of the checks and balances okay we have a parliamentary form of government and we know, know that in india legislature and executive are not completely separated for example uh, uh, for example is uh, uh, take example of uh, sushma swaraj okay this she is a news uh, sushma swaraj now this lady she is a legislator because she helps in making law she pass she votes also in law making process in india vote dalti hai law banane ke liye ye okay but she is also minister of external affairs or foreign affairs ministry right minister of overseas affairs so uh, you know she she is part of that she is the head of mea now because she is part of mea now that is an executive function that is not a legislative function she is doing so there is some overlapping okay but then there is a check and balance on that right he is because all the executive right all these ministers all the minister all the cabinet okay all these cabinet minister they are responsible to the lok sabha okay right they are responsible to the lok sabha now the indian constitution that provide for parliamentary govern form of government where they we have this thing right now in court we we have this theory of separation of power in incomplete sense not a complete sense there is also constitution ke andar article number 50 hai which says that there should be separation of judiciary and the executive and to implement this thing uh, we also brought uh, crpc ke andar amendment laaye the in 1972 by which you know we took away the judicial power of the district magistrate of the executive magistrate right uh, not not the district dm on the judicial side on the executive side right and you know and supreme court also said that the constitution incorporates the doctrine of checks and balance in india okay supreme court has also said this thing uh, and then because of importance to democratic constitution supreme court said that separation of power even even supreme court held this thing separation of power is the part of the basic structure of the constitution right and you know it cannot be destroyed this thing cannot be destroyed this that means this cannot be if it is a part of basic structure एक आधारभूत ढांचा है नीम पत्थर है अगर नीम हिला देंगे बिल्डिंग गिर जाएगी उसी तरीके से इफ यू डिस्टर्ब द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को लैप्स कर जाएगा तो यू नो उस बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर को हम कंट्रोल कर दिस सेपरेशन ऑफ पार इज पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ आई एम नेमिंग अ केस ओवर हेयर जिसके अंदर ये कहा गया था प्लीज डू नॉट रिमेंबर दिस नेम के राइट right? फिर भी आप ऐसे कुछ लोग याद करेंगे दिस इज कानंदासन ओके कानंदासन वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु केस वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु ओके state of tamil nadu right in this case it was held but there is no need to remember this case i will just go back to the first thing that i was showing you right here we so we now know understand the judicial review and theory of separation of power and then we also know this doctrine of limited government okay we understood this now next thing you know now we come to article 13 how these things are being practically implemented in the constitution of india so we will talk about that okay so the practical implementation of all these things is done through article number 13 and article 12 plus all the fundamental rights okay now uh, it will not be the lecture will stretch beyond um, the stated time uh, so i will just uh, stop here and cover the fundamental rights and these basic provisions in the next lecture okay and so and now one more thing yeah so th this is uh, if you really understood this video right if you, and if you like this video i want you to do two things right now and one is click the like on the video okay and second thing is uh, it's my humble request please share this video with all your friends this if you do this these two things it will really encourage me trust me 
I'll teach you polity you have never heard it before in that special way okay I just love polity it is a brilliant subject to study you will also enjoy your concepts would be absolutely clear right it's my request please share this video with others okay and then lastly for all the, all the new people if you have not subscribed to us yet please do subscribe to us agar subscribe this is for you right these first two things were for me okay and this is for you right and subscribe if you subscribe by clicking here what happens that um, we are, you know you will have these videos in your emails okay so that is all and thank you for watching